Hello everyone! In this video we will learn how to make a badge or a logo using Adobe Illustrator. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is arrange the measurements, add it a name, choose pixels 175 by 175 and go ahead and click create. For my badge I've decided to use the polygon tool as the outside shape. So let's go ahead and select that. And as you can see it's drawing a triangle. To change however many sides you would like to add, just hold the mouse and click on the up arrow, like so. I'm going to Command C, Command V, which is copy and paste this shape. And at this point, the shapes are on top of each other. I would like to enlarge it. To do so, without changing the dimensions, I'm going to hold Shift and the Option key and scale up like so. Going to go ahead and right click, arrange, and send to the back. The next thing I'm going to do is create the mountains. To do so, I'm also going to use the polygon tool, except that for this purpose, I'm going to be needing a triangle. And as you could see, it's drawing out a polygon. Uh, to change that, I'm going to hold the mouse and click on the down arrow, like so. I'm going to bring the first mountain up front to do that. Right click, arrange, bring to the front. I've decided to alter the first mountain and I'm going to choose the direct selection tool to do so. So double click on the corner you would like to change. Again, double click and change, double click and change. I'm going to create a rectangle as a banner across, looking like so. And then I'm going to create the sides, something like that. Now, another thing I'm going to add here in order to alter the side, I'm going to hold down on my pen tool and select the add anchor point. And I'm just going to add an anchor point right here in the middle so that when I choose the selection tool, I can simply drag in and make that alteration right there. The next thing I'm going to do is Control C, Control V, copy paste. And then right click, transform, and I'm going to reflect it. I like to reflect it vertically, like so, in position. You can make any other alterations from down here as well, or up here. All of these options are available to you. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the text. A few last things I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold down on the pen tool and choose the pen tool to create the illusion of ice on the mountains. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click and position my anchor points, something like that, and you just click and let go. You would like to alter? Choose the direct selection tool, select the shape, double click on the anchor point, and drag. This as well, go further down. I'm going to hold shift and select the shape in the back. Right click and group. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and add my stars. Go ahead and select both of my shapes and just go ahead and go to the shape properties. What I would like to do is change the corners instead of the round, I'm going to have the inverted round. So I'm going to change that. As you can see, I already changed the corner type. 
and I change the corner radius and now it's looking something like that and now we can start with the decoration the next thing I would like to do is change the um, brush definition of my stroke line and to do that I'm going to go ahead and go up here in the brush definitions as you can see there are some options from default but what we are going to do is click down on the brushes library button as you can see there's quite a lot of interesting options here that you could choose from and then you can get as creative as you'd like you could also alter the size of these frames and the colors and everything um, but I think what I'm interested in, I think I just want to keep it very simple. I'm going to just go ahead and click on my swatches up here. And I've already decided that I'd like to use this color for the fill. And for the outline, I think I'm just going to go with white. I can select my text and my banner together, holding shift, right click, arrange, and I'm going to bring them to the front. And I think I'm going to change the inside color to something like that, make the eyes be white. And here's the final version, you can zoom in to see all of your fine details.